Curiosity Kids, this is Linda, museum educator here at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Are you curious about the great horned owl? Like other birds of prey, owls have a hooked bill and sharp talons. These features help them hunt and feed on small mammals like rabbits, mice, birds, squirrels, and small dogs. They will eat any small animals. Where you will see hawks and eagles flying and hunting for food during the day, you will see owls at night. Owls are nocturnal. Owls live in dense forests and large woodlots, staying away from humans. They use hollow trees for shelter. They don't build their own nests, but take over a nest left by other animals. Owls have some very unique adaptations that allow them to be the perfect predators. Owls have large eyes, and they are much more sensitive than human eyes. They don't see color well, but pick up motion very well. This allows them to spot mice scampering across the forest floor, even in the dark. If we look at the owl's skull, we can see the eyes have a hard, fixed socket. This allows owls to look in one direction. Instead of moving its eyes, an owl moves its head to look from left to right. In blue, we can see how far you can turn your head. The owl adds the gold area as well. Owls can turn their head almost all the way around, but not quite all the way around. When owls dive to catch their prey, they will put three toes at the front and one at the back. This makes it easier to catch the prey. When they're sitting on a branch, they will put two toes at the front and two toes at the back. That makes it easier to balance on a branch. Owls have excellent hearing. They can hear sounds that humans can't. Even in complete darkness, an owl will find its prey just by listening to the sounds the prey makes. Contrary to what most people think, the great horned owl's horns are not its ears. In fact, they aren't even horns. They're just tufts of feathers that stand up like a wicked set of eyebrows. The great horned owl may look large, but that is because of their feathers. If we look at this wing from a red-tailed hawk, we can see that the edges of the wing are quite well defined. But if we look at the great horned owl's wing, we can see that the edge of the owl's feathers are serrated. They appear to have small fingers that stand out, making the feathers more fluffy or shredded. This allows air to flow through the feathers silently. Owls make no sound as they are flying. This allows them to catch their prey without the prey hearing them coming. There's a lot more about owls to learn. You just need to keep exploring. If you want to create an owl at home, just head to the museum website at statemuseumpa.org and look for our virtual learning page to find a list of materials and instructions. Join me next time to explore something else I'm curious about. Thanks for tuning in.